Well, hello friends. Today, I spent my day at the Stamp and Scrapbook Expo show in Duluth, Georgia. Uh, the dates for this were yesterday and today, which were the fit was the 15th and 16th. Um, but I just got back in from Florida yesterday, the 15th, and I went to the show today. So I thought I'd make a video to show you my haul. And um, notice if you notice anything peculiar about some of the things I'm going to show you. So this is the show guide. Um, and I had bought my ticket when I went to the O Scrap retreat at the Crown Plaza in Peachtree City in Atlanta not too long ago. All right, so um, I'm not going to go in any specific order. Rubber Necker stamps. I got this stamp. I just think that is the coolest stamp, and I can see that as a background for lots of things. I think I um, bought quite a bit of Rubber Necker, so I got this stamp. Um, this was not from Rubber Necker. This is a stencil, which I'm anxious to try because I just think it's the cutest thing. I mean, isn't that perfect for me, the school teacher who loves my pens and clips and notepads? I got a paper clip stencil. Cool. <clears throat> so when you go in to the expo, and you sign in, you get this um, nice little bag. This year is from Spectrum Noir. And you'll notice here, I have another bag. Hmm, I got two of them. And would you look at this? I have one of the Spectrum Noir Tri-Blends in the orange color. And oh my goodness, I have two of them. How in the world did I do that? Eh, we'll talk about that later. This is one of the things on my list. I have seen people using these. These are luster wax. And I got gold. And I got... Does this tell the color right here? No. Oh. Uh, I guess that's copper. Let me see. I thought it was gold. Yeah, this is definitely silver. And they may have been calling this rose gold, but it looks maybe like copper too. It's pretty. Anyway, I got these cute little clear stickers because I know I've got lots of um, COVID pages to do. And I thought those were cute. And one of the make and takes I did was this. Now, let me see if I can open it. Hold on. So, isn't this cute? And I did actually buy the die set that you can use to make these. These can be for gift cards. Or you can cut photos and slip them in there. I love this. It was a free make and take. Can you believe it? Isn't it pretty? Well, what do we have here? I have another one. So what? I have the sim same similar make and takes, two of them. Interesting. Um, and then we did another make and take where we practiced <clears throat> with um, line stamps and then stencils to do the coloring. And this is the image we got to color. And, whoa, I got two of them. Hmm. Okay, I also got myself some art glitter glue. And, you know, the cool little precision tip. I got that to go with it. Um, I got this is a piece of permanent vinyl, and I got it for the color. The color was the specific color I was looking for for something. Okay, so I got this 
um, die, nativity circle, die. Oh, I didn't even realize that it was an all one piece. How about that? Anyway, that was from Creek Bank Creations. And let me see. Okay, this is this cool little spiral pop-up die, which I bet if you go to YouTube, you can see how it works. It was really cool, and I know that I can use this. It's a two-piece die. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, this... <clears throat> I can't wait to make something with that. That's cool. And then I got these slide glides, which go with this die set. And it makes the cutest kind of little round card. Now, it it doesn't necessarily make that mermaid. You would have had to buy the mermaid stamp set. But you can use this. Look, you can make it with bumblebees. You can make it. Is that a unicorn? So I have lots of different things I can use to make one of these. So it's the Wingding Interactive Card Base. <clears throat> I believe they have a, a YouTube channel that shows you how to do all these. And I got this um, Get Well Soon Thinking of You. Uh, what did I get that for? like I got that to go with some but um in order to make let me see sorry for all the movement these two things right here this is the die that you use and she showed us several other ways to use the die so it will come in handy I got a created I created button because I did make and takes and I got four buttons by the end, by the time I was done. Therefore, I got my cool little lanyard. <clears throat> um, I think this was a freebie for somebody. Oh, it was the um, Faith Journaling Bible stuff. Um, I bought some stuff from there. I don't even remember what I bought from there. What did I buy from there? Hmm, I don't know. Okay, so I bought some of this tape. I bought, I think it's, this is a pretty thick one, and this one's a bit thinner. Let's see, we got a quarter inch and a half inch. I got another stencil. It is a coffee bean stencil. And I got some more Distress Oxides. I've been using these and realized I needed some other colors. So I brought my list of what I already had and purchased that. And I think that is all that I had for today. Um, oh, well, let me explain to you how I have two of few of these things. You see, <clears throat> I have this great blessing. His name is Michael. Well, Michael and I just returned from vacation. We drove down and around Florida to see friends and family. We went to Tallahassee to see his one of his best friends that was in our wedding. And we drove to Cedar Key just because he wanted to. And we drove to Wikiwachi to see the mermaids. Um, the big purpose for driving to Florida was to go see his dad and his sister and brother-in-law. We had a great visit with them. And um, we got home, like I said, on Saturday. And on Sunday, I woke him up early. God bless that man. And told him, let's go to the Scrapbook Expo. So he came with me. He bought a ticket to get in. And he sat and made make and takes when I made make and takes. And we had a great day. I love being with him. <clears throat> I was with him for the whole week, pretty much in the car. And I was not tired of being with him yet. So I dragged him along with me. And I didn't even have to drag him. He came very willingly. So, friends, that is my Scrapbook Expo 2022 Hall of Goods. And now, when I make something, I should probably... 
at least post a picture, maybe even a video of me making it, right? Okay, friends, have a great day. Bye.